So let us try to solve a problem to understand the concept of heat engines and energy flow diagrams and also correct use of signs in formulas we use a little better. So say a car engine takes in 1000 joules of heat and delivers 200 joules of mechanical work per cycle and the heat is provided by burning gasoline that has heat of combustion of LC is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 4 joules per gram. So let us attempt to answer a couple of questions. So the first one is what is the efficiency of the car's engine? Then B what is the amount of heat discarded in each cycle? And C how much fuel is burned in each cycle? So part A is quite simple and we know that efficiency E is equal to work delivered divided by heat input which here is equal to 200 upon 1000 which is equal to 20%. Now in part B since W is equal to QH minus QC we say QC is equal to QH minus W or QC is equal to 1000 minus 200 joules which is equal to 800 joules which means that 800 joules of heat leaves as exhaust in every cycle or the heat is discarded. Now before we go ahead it is important to get clarity on the calculations and formulas we've used here. So the value of QC we calculated as 800 is the absolute value. But then as per convention, you should have got a negative sign or a minus 800. So what you need to remember is that when we derived the formula Q is equal to W, Q is the net heat to the engine. So when we write Q is equal to QH plus QC, it assumes that when we put values of QH and QC, we will use the correct sign as well. So to avoid any confusion about whether the sign has been put or not, we say that Q is equal to absolute value of QH minus absolute value of QC. This therefore essentially means that we have taken care of the sign and now we just need to put the correct absolute values of QC only. Hence when we use the formula W is equal to QH minus QC, we must remember that we need to put absolute values only and not put a negative sign again with QC value when using this formula. Therefore, here when we get the final answer, it is positive or giving you the absolute value of QC only. So let us move on to the next part and here in part C, if mass of fuel burned in every cycle is M, then QH is equal to M into LC, then M is equal to QH upon LC, which is equal to 1000 divided by 5 into 10 to the power 4, which equals 0 0.02 grams. Well, 20% is typically the efficiency of a car engine and it may be surprising for you to know that you're getting just 20% worth of money you actually spend, which I'd say is really less and well, another reason to cut down on use of fossil fuels. So let me know if you agree with me about cutting down the use of fossil fuels. If your answer is yes, go ahead and write your answer in the comments below. And if it is no, still you can go ahead and write your answer as no in the comments below. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for many more interesting videos.